Hello, so today it's going to create a data lake. Uh, we're going to create an Azure data lake storage gen 2. So it's actually the center um, main source of our company data. So it's all the raw data. So instead of having silo all the different um, data from let's say marketing and sales and your operations and your customers details in in different silos it came in one place so here we are in the Azure portal so to start out with something times people type in just data lake because we want to create a data data lake and you just type in there and and you might click on see data lake storage gen 1 now what we actually want is gen 2 so in order to do that you actually have to click on the storage you go into the storage and create an account I create here click on here or the plus add and so you go through and create your um, Azure uh, data lake so second gen data lake so in this one here is so our resource group is the data lake and then name is uh, data lake and gen 2 so it's, it's, uh, it's here and then you could click click on your location so in this one we'll just um, we'll just click central and then obviously the kind the type is uh, storage version 2 so general v, v2 and just leave the for the demo we'll just leave as read access geo redundant storage and we'll go next network and next again to advance so this is the actual um, critical part where you enable security because of the data lake storage gen 2 it allows hierarchical um, which means that you actually access to the system files and folders without co code so, um, so we're going to go to that once we create the storage account and if you have several storage accounts, Gen2 account, you could create uh, tags. In this case, we'll just uh, review the details and create. And the reason why uh, it's creating, we'll create that one of the benefits of the Zero Data Lake Storage Gen 2 is that it is a combination of Azure Blob Storage and the previous generation Data Lake Storage which is Gen 1 um, it provides semantics, directory and file level security and scalability with low cost um, you can actually read more on see some of the benefits security management fast and scalable cost effective integration ready and it is the early on diagram it is the center um, of your uh, as part of your analysis insights so, so that's still um, deploying now our data lake has been cr created so we're just going to go to resources but before we actually go to resources I just need to show you a diagram to explain the data lake architecture, architecture structure so this is the whole data lake here where we have a different source of data coming in 
Uh, so uh, you can have application one, application two, application three, goes through um, data factory which orchestrates different pipelines um, so it can go into a folder in the data lake, a raw folder which will we create here and generally the raw data goes by again by data factory because data factory orchestrates going from data going from point A to point B so in this case it will be data bricks it will uh, clean it, it will transform getting rid of um, fields and yep and then after it's been processed um, after it's been transformed it goes to process and from the process data we could have a one um, main source of data for the whole organization then that's where you actually use that to um, produce reports and also um, there's other database sources as well that could be combined with the data which is uh, process so to get additional in data enrichment so more comprehensive report so that's where uh, the, we're going to actually go to now to create the raw data folder and file so in here we go to storage explorer and then we go to uh, file system this is where the hierarchical um, enable so where we and create a file system so in this case we will just um, do a demo and as here if I were to do a space it actually tests its exclamation mark here because you're not allowed to do space you could do a dash so just for this time if I just leave it one and there it has to be lowercase as well see in order to satisfy this condition there's no you can't do capital letters or space anyway um, you could always look up here with exclamation mark it tells you what sort of error um, so we'll just leave it as demo and within the demo folder you could create a new folder so we'll create this as raw okay and then we'll create another folder let's say that is the process process folder and within raw we'll so going back to this diagram here see that's the source and it's going to raw different so that's like let let's say that's application one application two application three so we want to actually um, put them in folders such as we're just going to do just application one uh, you could have a space here that's not a problem so that's the actual uh, file structure and within the actual you could break it down it depend on um, what type of structure you have but normally it would be the year and then you would have within the year you would have the the month so 01 as in January like you said and you could go even deeper and for that Microsoft recommends within the actual folder itself you would have uh, more than a couple files but not more than a, over a few hundred files because to optimize um, the performance wise so here we're going back to our demo um, see as you can see here is the raw and application one and the year and the month 
that is here it is here's a structure um, it's from application one and it goes January uh, 2019 so normally in real life you wouldn't ha need to create this um, folder structure it's actually created by the data factory which creates the, the structure and then you allocate how many um, files go into which which folder it is so that's a bit and uh, that's all on data lake gen 2